let's solve the initial conditions problem we have on the screen. We want to find the function or functions y that satisfies the differential equation we have. As there's a second derivative, this is a great two differential equation. It is also linear because we have a number times each y equal an expression to x with constant coefficients. So, first of all, we are going to solve the differential equation and afterwards we will use the initial conditions in order to get the exact solutions. So, let's go with the differential equation. First, we have to make the homogeneous part of the equation. This part equal, instead this, it's equal zero. We're going to calculate the characteristic equation of the differential equation. Let's call y x, so the second derivative would be x squared plus the derivative of y would be x minus the minus 2 times y would be just a minus 2 equal 0. Now we have to obtain the roots from here. So using the formula this is minus b plus minus the square root of v square minus 4 times a times c divided by 2 times a. The coefficients of the equation. This is equal to minus 1 plus minus the square root of 1 plus 8 divided by 2. This is minus 1 plus minus 3 divided by 2. The two solutions would be minus 1 plus 3 divided by 2 and minus 1 minus 3 divided by 2. Here we have a 1 and down here a minus 2. So, from these roots, we have the solutions to the homogeneous part. This would be e raised to 1 times x, as they are real numbers. If they were complex numbers, we would obtain trigonometric solutions. And with the 2, it would be e raised to minus 2 times x. So, we have that e raised to x and e raised to minus 2x is the base of the solutions of the differential equation. And every solution of this equation would be expressed as y sub h. The solution of the homogeneous part, c sub 1 times e raised to x plus c sub 2 times e raised to minus 2x where c sub 1 and c sub 2 are real numbers. Let's write it up here and let's erase the rest. As we have the solution of the homogeneous part of the equation. Let's go now with the solution of the particular part of the equation. On the right side of the equation we can see that we have a function and we are looking for a particular solution with the form y equals a times the cosine of x plus b times the sine of x as we have a cosine on the given equation. It would also be the same if we had a sine instead of a cosine. It doesn't matter. 
derivative of this would be minus i minus a times the sine of x plus b times the cosine of x and the second derivative would be minus a times the cosine of x minus b times the sine of x once we have this substituting in the differential equation we would have minus a times the cosine of x minus b times the sine of x plus the derivative of y minus a times the sine of x plus b times the cosine of x minus 2y this is minus 2 times a times the cosine of x minus 2 times b times the sine of x everything is equal to minus 10 times the cosine of x we have three terms wi here with a sine of x this, this and this one so the common factor would be sine of x times minus a minus 3 times b as the, uh, as the other terms are cosines minus 3a plus b times the common factor cosine of x equal minus 10 times the cosine of x so separating the sine and cosines terms we would have with the sine minus a minus 3b equals 0 and with the cosine minus a plus minus 3a sorry plus b equal minus 10 from here a would be equal minus 3b and substituting it down here we would have minus 3 times minus 3b plus b equal minus 10 so 9 times b plus b would be equal minus 10 this is 10 times b equals minus 10 so b would be minus 1 let's write it up here b equal minus 1 I'm sorry but I'm, I'm going to try to erase this if I can just give me a sec to calculate A substituting B in the upper equation we would have minus a minus 3 times minus 1 equals 0 minus a plus 3 equals 0 so a is equal 3 I'm going to make some space here and let's write the whole particular solution the particular solution would be 3 times the cosine of x minus the sine of x so the general solution for the equation is 
the particular solution plus the homogeneous solution. 3 times the cosine of x minus the sine of x plus c sub 1 times e raised to x plus c sub 2 times e raised to minus 2x. Now, using the initial conditions, we are going to obtain c sub 1 and c sub 2, the constant terms that are real numbers. First, as y of 0 is equal to 5, let's substitute in y. We would have Five equal three times the cosine of zero minus the sine of zero plus c sub one times e raised to zero plus c sub two times e raised to zero. So five would be equal to one minus zero plus c sub 1 plus c sub 2 so 2 would be equal to c sub 1 plus c sub 2 an equation with two unknown terms now let's calculate the derivative of y Let's do it up here. It would be minus 3 times the sine of x minus the cosine of x plus c sub 1 times e raised to x plus c sub 2 times e raised to minus 2x times minus 2. That's the derivative of e raised to minus 2x. This would be minus 2 times c sub 2 times e raised to minus 2x. Substituting the derivative of y in 0, as we have on the initial conditions, this is minus 2. So, minus 2 equals minus 3 times the sine of 0 minus the cosine of 0 plus c sub 1 times e raised to 0 minus 2 times c sub 2 times e raised to minus 2 times 0 so minus 2 would be equal to minus 1 plus c sub 1 minus 2 times C sub 2. This is minus 1 equals C sub 1 minus 2 times C sub 2. We've just obtained a system of equations in which we would have C sub 1 plus C sub 2 equal 2 and c sub 1 minus 2 times c sub 2 equal minus 1. From the upper equation, c sub 1 is equal to 2 minus c sub 2. And substituting, we have 2 minus c sub 2 minus 2 times c sub 2 equal minus 1. So minus 3 times c sub 2 equal minus 3 and c sub 2 would be equal 1 so c sub 1 would be equal to 2 minus 1 which is 1 and now substituting c sub 1 and c sub 2 in our solution here in the middle of the screen the whole solution would be 3 times the cosine of x minus the sine of x 
plus e raised to x plus e raised to minus 2 times x. This would be the solution to the initial conditions problem given.